In this video, I'll be talking about the equipment needed dependent on the type of trip you take, the terrain, season and weather condition. The equipment you need can be dependent on the type of trip, or activities you are planning, and can be grouped as, gear you wear, gear you carry, safety gear, and miscellaneous gear. Gear you wear the gear you wear can depend on the terrain conditions, and may include snowshoes, crampons, and high gaiters. Snowshoes may be needed for travel on snowfields, and in ice conditions. Crampons may be required to aid climbing up, and down, snow-covered hills and mountains, and in ice conditions. High gaiters may be needed, to prevent the ingress of snow into your boots, in snow and ice conditions. Gear you carry Other gear you may need to carry in order to traverse your terrain include, snow poles and ice axe, avalanche beacon, hand warmers, insulated water bottle, rope and carabineers, and machete. Snow poles and ice axe are often needed for glacier travel. An avalanche beacon is used for detecting the possibility of an avalanche. Hand warmers are used to provide instant heat in situations where your hands become too cold. Insulated water bottles have a number of uses. To maintain the temperature of your hot drinking fluids. Prevent your drinking water from freezing in very cold conditions. Keep your drinking water cool in hot conditions. And, protect your hands from the temperature of the bottle. Rope and carabineers are needed when climbing. And a machete, is for helping to clear vegetation, which is also useful for construction, and firewood collection, or can double as a spade. Safety gear There are several items you can take with you to improve your safety, and include, a headnet, insect repellent or bug spray, bear repellent or pepper spray, snake bite kit, GPS unit, altimeter, barometer, and thermometer. A headnet, depending on your location, has the potential to protect you from infections, and save your life, should a mosquito decide you are tasty. You may require this if you have an unplanned overnight stay outdoors. Insect repellent or bug spray, depending on your trip, can help you remain bite-free, so you can enjoy your trip. Bear repellent or pepper spray, as the name suggests, is to repel bears. You should carry a snake bite kit, in areas where there are poisonous snakes, in case you are bitten. A robust GPS can help with navigation, preferably waterproof, to display and monitor progress on trails. Good GPS systems have an electronic compass, altimeter, and aerial maps to help you keep aware of changing elevation, and avoid sudden drop-offs, or other hazards. They can also come with a barometer and thermometer, to help you keep aware of changing weather conditions. An altimeter, can keep you informed of the changing elevation, and can be included on either a manual compass, or with a GPS unit. A barometer, can keep you informed of the changing weather conditions, and can be included on either a manual compass, or with a GPS unit. A thermometer, can be used to keep an eye on the temperature, and guide your decisions on layers, or even whether to continue your journey as planned. This too, can be included on either a manual compass, or with a GPS unit. Miscellaneous gear Some miscellaneous items may be needed, such as, permits, identification, passport, visa, money and small change, foreign currency, phrasebook and dictionary, and a converter plug. Permits may be needed, if you intend to take part in any extra activities, such as camping, fishing, hunting, etc. Make sure you have the correct permit, before you start your activity. Wherever you travel it's a good idea to have some form of identification, especially if someone requires you to prove who you are. If traveling to foreign lands, you will need a passport, and probably a visa permit. A source of money is always advisable when traveling, and may include a credit card, bank debit card, and cash, or traveler's checks. It's always a good idea, to also have some coins available, for any small purchase, or travel fares. A source of foreign currency should be considered mandatory when traveling abroad. And again, have some coins available for any small purchase, or travel fares. A phrasebook and, or, dictionary, should help smooth your travel within a foreign land. 
If traveling abroad, and you want to use your electrical devices, make sure you take the correct converter plug for the countries you are visiting. Okay, that's all I have to say about the equipment needed dependent on the type of trip you take, the terrain, season and weather condition. It also completes the discussion about walking equipment checklists. The walking equipment checklist talked about here, is quite extensive, but not an exhaustive one. The items listed should cover most of your requirements, for either a single day walking trip, or for a multi-day backpacking adventure. Whatever type of journey you are planning to undertake I wish you safe, happy, and successful walking trips. You can see the complete walking equipment checklist, in the description, below the video. Support my channel by subscribing, and stay informed about future videos. And don't forget to hit the notification bell.